Hi, so in this video, we're going to be doing a grade 11 maths June 2023 past paper that you guys wrote recently for the province of Limbobo. Okay, so now let's solve question one. In 1.1.1, we are asked to solve for x for this problem here. So you have 2x into x minus 3 is equal to 0. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to say 2x is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 and then divide by 2 both sides here we have x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 3 so these are the solutions for the first problem and then 1.1.2 we are having 3x squared minus 2x is equal to 4 right and we first need to write down in standard form Remember the question says you must your solution must be in two decimal places. So you can tell that you have to use a quadratic formula for this uh, problem here. So let's first write it in standard form. We transpose the four is going to be three x squared minus two x minus four is equal to zero. And then we use our quadratic formula, which is equal to minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus four ac divided by two a, right? Of which my a value my a value, let me use a different color, my a value is equal to 3, my b value is equal to minus 2, my c value is equal to minus 4, right? And let me know what you're getting, but the solutions that I'm getting here is x being equals to 1.54 or x being equals to minus 0 0.87. So these are the solutions that you expected to get once you substitute into this formula here. Now we're going to do 1.1.3, which we're having 5 minus x is equal to x plus 1, right? So this is a sad form uh, problem. The first step is to square both sides, right? Square both sides, and then you remain with 5 minus x is equal to x plus 1 all squared, and then you expand this all squared, so it's going to be 5 minus x is equal to x plus 1 x plus 1 and then 5 minus x is equal to then you find the product so it's going to be x squared plus x plus x plus 1 right so it's going to be 5 minus x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 then you transpose these to the other side we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus x minus 5 equals to 0 and then x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0 factorize and equate to 0 so you have your x and your x you have 4 and 1 and then here's going to be positive and negative therefore your solution of x is x being equals to 1 or x being equals to minus 4 right but you need to test your values um, to see if they are applicable in this equation here so let's say x is equals to 1 the first solution so in the root of the left hand side goes to 5 minus 1 it's going to give you the root of 4 right which is equals to plus or minus 2 fine and then the right hand side because you have a solution of 1 so it's going to be 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 so it's practically correct so this is the solution of x uh you'll take it and then let's test for the one of x being equals to minus 4 right so it's going to be x being equals to minus 4 and in the left hand side we have 5 minus minus 4 right which should give you the root of 5 plus 4 which is 9 so root of 9 which gives us plus or minus 3 and then on the right hand side we have x plus 1 right of which um, it's minus 4 so it's minus 4 plus 1 which gives us minus 3 so it's practically the solution of x so these two are the solutions of x for this problem here so now we're going to do 1.1.4 right which is an inequality problem So how do we do this one? First, we know that you need to first write it in standard form because as you can see, it's not written in standard form, right? The inequality problem of 1.1.4 is not written in standard form. So you need to first write it in standard form and then we find our critical values. Once we find our critical values, 
we draw our number line and um, to find the solutions of x, right? So this is how we do it. So for this 1.1.4, 1. 1. we have 2x squared plus 5x less than or equals 3. Transpose the 3 to the other side, you have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 less than or equals to 0. Then you factorize uh, less than or equals to 0. So it's going to be 2x here and x here and then 3 and 1 here. Right? So it's just going to have plus here and then minus here. And your critical values is going to be 2x minus 1 equals to 0 or x plus 3 equals to 0. And then you transpose the 1 to the other side. You have 2x is equals to 1 or x is equals to minus 3 for this one. Divide by 2, divide by 2x is equals to 1 over 2. So then you go to your number line, you draw it and you indicate your critical values of minus 3 and 1 over 2. So these are my critical values, right? And then you test values that are before your critical value. Let's say it's minus 5. You're going to test it. A value that is between your critical value, minus 2, and then a value that is um, above your critical value. Let's say it's 3, right? So you're going to test these values and see which signs you're going to get, right? The signs that I got when I substituted, what do I mean by testing? Let's say you have x equals to minus 5, right, which is this one here. So you're going to substitute it into this standard form here. Where there's x, you're going to put minus 5. Where there's x, you put minus, excuse me, minus 5. And then you're mostly interested in the sign that you're going to get once you substitute that. So the signs that I got, um, I got positive for this one here, which means any value that is less than minus 3 gives me a positive solution of y. And then I got a negative here, meaning any value of x that I substitute gives me a negative solution of y. And then here I got a positive. So remember that the, 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 the problem wants us to find the solutions of x such that they are less than or equal to 0. So anything that is less than or equal to 0, it's negative, right? So meaning going to focus here. So my x value must lie between um my critical values of minus three and one over two so this is the solution for 1.1.4 okay now go to do 1.1.5 right so we're having 5x to the power of 2 over 5 is equal to 20 right so the first step is to divide by 5 both sides and then we remain with x to the power of 2 over 5, it's equals to 4. And then we change the 4. We know 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2. So we're going to say x to the power of 2 over 5 is equals to 2 to the power of 2. And then we multiply with the exponent of 5 over 2. Multiply both sides of 5 over 2. And then we remain with x being equals to 2 to the power of 2 times 5 over 2. So this cancels out we have x equals to 2 to the power of 5 right which is x being equals to 32 so this is your solution for 1.1.5 now we're going to do 1.1.6 which we're going to use the k method to solve it which should make our life easier so we're having 2 to the power of x minus 12 over 2 to the power of x is equals to minus 4 so if you say let k equals to 2 to the power of x, meaning this is going to be k minus 12 over k is equals to minus 4, right? So when I get rid of this k that is at the bottom, so you multiply by k, multiply by k, multiply by k, we remain with k squared minus 12 is equals to minus 4k. Write it in standard form, we have k squared plus 4 k minus 12 is equal to 0 and then we factorize this we have k and k 6 and 2 we have a uh, positive here and negative here equals to 0 k is equal to 2 or k is equal to minus 6 right but remember k is equal to 2 to the power of x so it's 2 to the power of x equals to 2 or 2 to the power of x equals to minus 6 so this will not give us a solution but this one here it's going to be x being equal to 1 because you're going to drop the exponents since the bases are the same. Fine, so now we're done with this problem here. 
let's go to the simultaneous problem. So regarding the simultaneous problem, uh, we have the following. We have uh, the equation 5, y minus x is equal to 2, right? So that's our first equation. And then we have x squared minus 3xy um, plus 4y is equal to 4. So it's our second equation. Now we need to create the third equation. I'm going to use this one here to create the third equation. So I'm just going to transpose everything and remain with x, right? So I'm just going to have my final x to be if x equals to 5y minus 2, which is my equation 3. So I'm going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So where there's x, you put 5y minus 2. So we're just going to start off here, which is 5y minus 2 all squared minus 3, 5 y minus 2 multiplied by y plus 4 y is equal to 4 right so you're going to um, simplify this you're going to make sure you find the product and you should get a standard form of once you find the found the product you've multiplied because you're going to expand this 5 y minus 2 5 y minus 2 minus 3 into 5 y minus 2 multiplied by y, 4y is equal to 4, right? And then once you find the product, you should get a standard form of 10y squared minus 10y is equal to 0. Divide by 10 all sides, you have y squared minus y is equal to 0. And then you factorize the y, um, you have y is equal to 0, or y is equal to 1, right? And then you use your third equation to find the other solutions of x. So it's going to be x equals to 5 into 1 minus 2, which is equals to 3. Or x is equals to 5 into 0 minus 2, which is minus 2. So these are your solutions of x for this problem here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.